Hey guys, I've been waiting all day for this package to arrive. This is the first time I ordered something from Louis Vuitton on the website and I was waiting patiently all day even though I know UPS comes really late so I probably didn't have to be waiting all day for that doorbell to ring. Um, I went ahead and opened the outside box just to make it easier for the video purposes but then when I opened it I was like, oh look how cute, even this is Louis Vuitton. I'm so excited. So I'm assuming this must be the receipt. <laughs> so, ribbon off. I'm going to do it this way so we can kind of both see it at the same time. So. Ooh, what's in here? There's the little mini bag. <laughs> It's like very tight. Oh, there's like stuff in here. That's not what I expected. I just thought it was going to be a care booklet. Which, oh, perfume. Hi, I'm allergic to perfume. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm going to do a little giveaway because I'm very allergic to fragrance. And no, mm -mm, that's a big no. So thank you, but no. <laughs> Can't do fragrance. So here's my little box. Here's my little bag. It smells new. Oh, it's my little Vachetta strap. So here's the little card. And then here's the code. I don't know. I saw their video showing the code. Here's the code, I'm not sure, but it comes with a little dust bag. So the reason I got this strap, two things. One, I debated about just getting the single crossbody strap or getting the one with the buckle. Oh, so this is interesting how they packed it. Shouldn't have drank that high percentage beer before shooting this. Just making everything more difficult. Okay. so. I opted for the one that had the adjustable buckle just because I thought it was nice to have options and because of the bags that I am going to be using the strap with, I thought I might want to have different lengths. I was a little concerned about getting a Bichetta strap just because it's going to show watermarks and that sort of thing and kind of the point of me being able to use these bags that I bought it for as uh, crossbody bags is because my other crossbody bag right now is the Ompron and you're not supposed to really get it wet. So I was bringing my recital bag back out and it's monogram. But you know Vachetta makes watermarks so I don't know I've seen a couple videos of like I don't want to treat the leather per se but like about wetting it and that sort of thing and getting the leather sort of like primed and maybe giving a little tan in the window. So I may do that. So this bag is quite old because I've had it only stored. There's like not a whole lot of patina to it. So I don't think it's gonna take that long for the strap to catch up. And then the other bag that I was interested in using it for is my Papillon and same thing. It's been in storage most of the time. There's not a ton of color on it. There is one watermark. So I think I'm gonna have an upcoming video where I try to use the technique that gets rid of watermarks and we'll see how that works. There's a little rubbing over here from me, always wearing black. Um, so I might do a cleaning video on the Papillon coming up, but the idea was, whoop, since I had never, I was gonna sell this bag and then after filming the video, I decided I didn't wanna sell it, that I just wanted to get a strap and, and use it as a crossbody. Uh, the idea was to be able to use this on my Papillon even though it doesn't really have the hardware for it. I tried this with my other strap just to test it out and it kind of hit me at a great length and I was like, oh, well with with this crossbody strap on it, I think I wanna keep this bag. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna model this for you. And then I'm also going to crossbody this 
Again, it doesn't have loops that are designed for this purpose, but there's hardware there, so where there's hardware, I'm going to attach. And then coming in here, so I've been I've been kind of priming this bottom strap, getting it used to laying in this position so that I can bring the crossbody strap in. So I'm going to model this for you now. Okay, so I actually was messing around with the strap a little bit to try to find what was comfortable. This is the third um, longest setting. I think I might even go down another one, go down to, to the second longest setting. Um, and this is with the recital bag. So that, that keeps it at a length where it's like convenient for me to get in and out of. And I decided that I, I want the buckle back here. So that way I just have the smooth in the front. But I'm so glad that I got the adjustable strap. Even though I thought I might like the look of just the plain strap. Um, you really you really can't see it in the back here, you know, you have a little whatever, little buckle action. Um, but in the front you still have the smooth. And it just gives you some options, especially because I want to use it with two different bags. So now I'm going to show you the Papi Yoon. Okay, so here I put it on the second to longest setting. Here's how it looks with the Papi Yoon. I have the buckle on the back again, and then I have it turned around so that way I can just get in and out of the bag from here. So I think this is pretty great. So this is the 12 millimeter strap with the adjustable buckle that you can get on the website, at least for right now. I know a lot of their straps are sort of here and there where they're available or not available, but um, I got it so that it was the same size as my um, pochetta on my recital bag. The leather on the papillon is a little bit bigger, but I just didn't want to overdo it since I'm probably going to wearing be wearing it primarily with the recital bag and I didn't want to get something that looks super heavy with this. I think it still looks really nice with this bag. So very excited. I'm going to try to probably do a little bit of that water just to get the patina look a little bit closer to these other items. But again, since I really didn't use these very much, it's not a super big stretch to go. So, yay. Would I definitely get something else online? Absolutely. It's really nice that our UPS comes really late, so now I don't have to worry about it, about being at work or whatever. Um, there's a couple of other things I have my eye on online. So I think online is the way to go, especially in New York City. I could have gone to the New York, there's like three or four New York City stores. I could have gone to New York City store any day this week, but I really didn't want to come home on the subway with a giant, ostentatious bag that's like mug me I'm a little person and I just didn't feel safe so having it delivered discreetly to my home in a cardboard box is really more like where I want to be this has been a really great experience I hope you liked this video if you did please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching we'll see you soon